in our last video we saw how to configure your flutter application to use firestore right in this video we will see how to create a simple uh, collection i mean simple collection and to create a simple document inside that particular collection with some data and how to access that particular document from your flutter application so let's get into uh, the project this is done right i'll close this ah i, I forgot to mention that uh, in the last video i guess if you want to uh, like this is one app in our, in the project it's already done if you want to add the project to your uh, ios application then you need to get into add another app and uh, click on add firebase to your ios app and follow the instructions accordingly it will give you a plist file uh, you need to take uh, follow the instructions accordingly okay uh one, but you need to add it as another app okay that's the main thing that i wanted to say here anyway uh, get into database and get into cloud firestore uh, beta i'll start in test mode so that uh, this is easier for us but later on we'll see how to uh, access firestore in locked mode as well locked mode provides a little bit of extra security than in test mode that is only authenticated users will be allowed to read or write from your firestore collection anyway let's start in test mode i'll talk about that later now let's try adding a collection inside this so i'll click on add collection and then give car cars okay and uh, click on next so i'll just choose auto id to give it a document id and in the fields i'll give uh, car maker or i'll simply do brand name brand name uh, tesla i'll add another field sold um 200 okay and this will be number and i'll uh, click on sorry and i'll click on save so now uh, you can see that a collection has been added and a particular document under that collection has been added the document has two fields namely brand name and the number of cars sold so uh, now we have some data in our firestore collection right the collection name is cars let's try to make use let's try to pull this data from firestore uh, in in your flutter application and show it in your flutter application screen okay now this is the flutter application that we have we have nothing in this except uh, no we have nothing in this so first i'll create an app bar Uh, new app bar inside this i'll have a title fire store demo not new title sorry new text okay uh for the body what i'll do is first i'll import i forgot to import that let's import the package package cloud fire store right what was that cloud fire store uh, cloud fire store dot dot yeah this is the one now uh, for the bot body what i'll do is usually i return containers or uh, padding or flexible or column whatever right but in this case what i'll be returning is a stream builder so what's a stream builder you already start i mean we have already seen what's a list view builder right list view builder simply takes a few elements and then uh, displays them like a list like a list one below the other right stream builder is something like uh, it can be used for data arriving in a sequence guys in a over a period of time like a stream okay this is reactive programming you understand right in reactive pro in rxjs you use observe rxjs for those of you for those of you who uh, who know rxjs you might have uh, heard of ob observables right observable subjects they are, they are used to represent or they are used to uh, uh, you know handle data arriving as a stream a stream of values over a period of time similarly what you can do here is you can use a stream builder Wait. wait i'll show you rather than me trying to explain it uh, if i show that i feel you would understand it uh, in a bit in a better way so what i'll do is stream builder i'll use stream 
firestore.instance.collection uh, uh, what's our collection name our collection name is cars right so i'll use cars and uh, i'll take a snapshot of that collection okay snapshots the next thing i can do is i can use a builder function builder function will take in two arguments one is the context and another one is the snapshot so this will be a uh, how do i say this wait uh, so first i need to check whether this snapshot has any data right if it has any data what i lose if snapshot dot has data uh, then what we need to do is we need to return uh, const okay if it doesn't have any data that is if it this is a asynchronous thing right you understand uh, what i'm trying to achieve here right this entire thing is asynchronous because we are making uh, firestore collection is situated in the cloud right uh, we are making we are trying to access data from that particular firestore collection uh, and trying to display it here so as soon as the app loads the request will be made and only when the data is available that is over a period of time that's why i'm using stream builder so this entire process is asynchronous and after that data is available uh, the data should be displayed in my screen so when the data is not available i should show loading data please wait when it is made available i can simply show the data so that's the reason why i included this if statement if the data is available what i can do is return uh, i'll show it in a column okay column uh, children and wait children and uh, it will have two children text uh, uh, snapshot dot data dot documents of this will be an array documents of zero uh, dot uh, not dot name right oh no not name what was it sorry brand name sorry brand name uh, one more thing one more child text snapshot dot data dot documents of zero uh, what uh, what was the thing uh, sold sold right yeah sold this is not uh, text so it will throw up an error unless we give two string okay now i have a column and uh, i am simply trying to display these two uh, fields in the particular document here since it is an array of documents the snapshot data dot data will contain an array of documents so i am trying to access the first element in the array alone cool right now if we run this application we sh we should see uh, let's run this rather than me cool right now we can see tesla and 200 i am not sure if you are able to see this due to the size we tell do some slight modifications here cool right now you can see that uh, our brand name and the number of cars sold that we had here is getting printed here now uh, uh, let me show you some really cool stuff if i change this here to something maybe 500 just watch what happens see it changes in real time right so now you understand the concept of streams right why i was using a stream builder this is reactive programming guys uh, values are appearing over a period of time in a stream and those values are being read by the application and then displayed here if i change this to something else say for instance uh, toyota okay toyota it automatically changes here as well now you understand the concept of streams right uh, so yeah uh, this is what i meant by real time cloud fire store real time database so uh, in this application now if i had another let's i'll show you one more stuff if i had say another document save okay now i have two documents here and uh, both of them have the same field names this is how a normal uh, firestore collection would look right you'll have a collection and you'll have multiple documents in them 
all with uh, different uh, values but the same field names okay. this is a key and this is a value key value pair that's what i am trying to say here if you already know object oriented programming if you already know json you would have already come across such things guys key value pairs you would ob obviously know already if not it's not at all a problem uh, it's really simple you can understand it as we proceed from here on now if i want to display both of them what i can do is simplest way you're not going to be looking too deep cool right instead of zero i need to give it as one so if you are doing this for an application uh, with a uh, with a uh, with a set of documents whose length you don't know now i know there are only two documents so i am giving zero for the first one and one for the second one what if there are n number of documents uh, and you don't know what's n okay so in that case what you will do you will use a list builder uh, list view uh, and inside that list view you will give the length of the items as the document dot length document dot data dot length i think snapshot dot uh, document uh, data dot documents dot length oh so sorry snapshot dot data dot length i think we'll see that we'll see that at a later point of time uh, so yeah that's how you'll handle that and uh, when you run the application all the particular documents will get displayed here and uh, it will function like as we saw before if i change this to 200 update and uh, change this to 800 update it will automatically update everything here in the application as well so in this video we saw how to do a very very simple read from your cloud firestore collection the cars collection that we used as an example here similarly you can do writes you can obviously do deletes and uh, you can do batch writes there are a lot of stuff you can do guys uh, uh, we'll see that one by one in our forthcoming videos we'll also rather than seeing it in concept we'll see how to build uh, very small applications very simple small applications uh, using flutter and firestore so that you'll get a good grip uh, i i am just building a foundation for you guys okay thanks